One of the silver linings of the pandemic, animal rescues across the country saw a spike in adoptions and foster applications. And whether you're a new pet owner or a vet, we've got lifestyle expert Cheryl Nelson. She's here with some tips for keeping your pets happy, safe, and comfortable. Hi, Cheryl. Hi, thanks for having me. I am happy to have you here. So what can pet parents do around the home to make it safe and comfortable for our animals? Yeah, that is a great question. And one of the things that you want to do as a cat mom, I know that you have to make sure that they feel safe. And so you might have things like elevated surfaces, like you see the cat tree behind me there. My cats love to get up there higher. They feel comfortable. You want to have toys for enrichment, cozy beds for them to lay in, especially when nobody is around. And another thing that you want to do to make sure that they're safe and comfortable is have a clean litter box at all times, because you know, cats, they like to be clean. And one thing I found during this pandemic is the pet safe scoop free self cleaning litter box. It's super convenient and you never have to scoop litter again. That's right. It's the only automatic litter box that works with crystal litter and the crystals absorb the urine and dehydrate solid waste. And then the waste gets raked away. Like you see there, it's five times better odor control than regular traditional clumping clay litter. It's 99% dust free and low tracking. So you're not going to find pieces of litter in the bed like I used to do. It has easy to replace litter trays. And it also has a health tracker, which is amazing for counting how many times your pet is going in and out of the litter box. You can actually use a mobile app to check that. And you can also do things like adjust cleaning cycles and have reminders to order those refills. This really is a game changer. This self-cleaning litter box has changed my life, Elsa. And can you share some ways that first-time owners can prepare for their new pets? Yeah, definitely. When you're bringing home a new pet, make sure you have a plan and know that it's okay to feel overwhelmed because you're bringing a new fur family member into your home. So the cat might be scared. It might be timid. Don't let that scare you. If the cat wants to go hide under the bed or the couch at first, that's totally fine. Just have an area mapped out for them where they feel safe. Have that litter box in a quiet, low traffic area and also keep the food and water in a different place in the litter box. You don't want to eat where you go to the bathroom for example. And as I mentioned, the pet beds, the toys for enrichment are great things to have. Make a vet appointment when you get a new pet. Make sure everything checks out all right. And if you do have other pets or plan to get more pets, make sure you always introduce them slowly to avoid that added stress and anxiety. And finally, have patience. Know that this really is a labor of love. And many people have been working from home, which has made our pets very, very happy. Of course, I'm one of those people. But how can we help prepare them as we head back into the office or, in my case, the studio? Yeah, they're used to having us around, right? With all the Zoom calls 24-7, it seems like we're here. And so when you do have to leave the house, don't make it a big production. I know I've done this in the past. I'll give them a million kisses and say, oh, I'm going to miss you. But try not to do that because, again, you don't want to create that added stress and anxiety for the pets. And then just try to leave for little bits of time here and there before you do go back to work and go back into the office to get them used to it. And I always say a new toy or maybe some new treats is a good way to keep their mind off of things as well. Just whatever you can do to make them feel comfortable. And where can our viewers go for more information? For everything we talked about today, visit scoopfree.com. All right, Cheryl Nelson, it was great to have you here. Really appreciate it. And we'll be right back with more Midday Maryland right after this. Stay tuned.